Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and in the booth with me is a special guest star from Rick Schiavone. Hello. <laughs> Hello Jim, great to see you. Lovely to be here for Friday Night Stand Firm again. Uh, unfortunately, I'm now completely out of it. And uh, so I, I'll, I'll be the guy saying yep and you do the play-by-play. -play. Okay, mate. Oh my God, that is the worst idea you've ever had, Rick. <laughs> and we've seen you play Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> before our first match today, we do have an unbelievable, um, an unbelievable promo here. So I better I'll cue this up, and you can listen to this promo. Watch it as well. And then the fucking Thor with the money in the ass every fucking time. It's just not possible to enjoy this title. It was my title and he took it from me. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. I've got one friend in this universe. One friend. My wrestle and kick nation buddy. He is going to come down here and he is going to help me right these wrongs. He is going to help me fix these injustices. He will be coming and he is coming soon to the GFW. Flicky out. Well, apologies for the technical issues there. Um, yeah, that didn't work how I thought it would work. So that's why it went wrong. I do apologize. Never mind. Right. <laughs> that was Flicky. He's going to be back in the GFW with his wrestling kick nation buddy. So that's going to be amazing. They are coming soon. So, wow. Passionate stuff from Flicky. His, his boring persona seems to have been jettisoned. Um, and there you go. Our first match is a triple threat between Jack Ball, Volcayo and Jimmy Fantastic. What an amazing, what an amazing uh, matchup. I wonder, I wonder how this has happened. Yeah, this is a, a, a mishmash of players in real real form right yeah what a, what a what a match on paper so we've got jack ball who has been almost single-handedly dragging elliot and space cadet to win after win uh in the quad skulls or or at least celebrating like he has we've got volt for gore on up to getting close to the greatest uh Wem dope title run of all time and uh and we've got jimmy fantastic who is the tag team champion of course with um table leg wanger fantastic run there on as well and also a huge win on monday night claw for jim so yeah uh, this is an incredible opening map it really is yeah three of the best commentators in the business as well on the choir i i hear the moonlight playing <laughs> the little children's game <laughs> so that's a <laughs> slight connection there <laughs> <laughs> yeah cre credit to them coming off the back of uh, uh an epic Chalice game that went all the way through overtime almost. Um, yeah, me, and, uh, in immediately jumping in the ring. One of the best <laughs> quite, quite the stamina that of these guys have got. Oh man, I wish more did. Surely them, like, there's got to be like some uh, Scott Steiner things, haven't there? I should have, I should have a look and see if there's any like Scott Steiner like moves or taunts that Jack Bull can have. But I haven't looked. <laughs> Not that I'm lazy or anything. But yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it, if if Jack Bull had Scott Steiner put like tones. But I don't I don't think they'll be in, but I, I should check. Big popper pump, Jack Bull. <laughs> Here comes Jack Bull saying to Vulcan Jimmy, the only cast you have to worry about is plaster cast after he breaks every bone in your body. <laughs> Yep, he's going to rip those horns off, Volkvigor, he said. He's going to tear what, those horns off him. and shove them up Jimmy's ass. Wow. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> that is fighting talk, isn't it? Certainly is. Certainly is. Two of these participants in the Blitz Pit tomorrow as well, of course. Don't want to pick up uh, too severe an injury before that. 
That's a very good point, yep. Yeah. Vulcan Gym, 1800 UTC. Saturday, the 16th. Kicking off Blitz Pit. Should be very interesting. Orcs and Necro, just like everybody else in Blitz Pit, <laughs> except Rick, apparently. <laughs> 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 There's like seven orc teams or something, isn't there? Crazy. Uh, unbelievable, yeah. Yeah. Tatfield does like us to uh, talk over this part of Jim's entrance, Jim. Mm. He's, he's not actually here today so far, so I, I guess we could listen to it. <laughs> I love this entrance. <laughs> it is. It lives up to glory, if that's for sure. It's a hell of a tune, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> it's silly, Billy, isn't it? I thought I thought you would have gone for uh, for Ram Tut to be on this, Rick. <laughs> I, I, I really wanted to, but the Camry uh, were definitely not as strong in the actual full tearing than in the qualifying. Mm. Um, so I, I had to uh, take a step back and up the other stuff, sadly. <laughs> this looks exactly like me, Jack Bull, apart from like, I need to shave, but apart from that. <laughs> <laughs> JBG in the house here. Yeah. Oh, hello, GBG, the world champ, oh, the world heavyweight oh, champion. Baby. Sorry to sneakily come into the booth there. I thought you guys know it. <laughs> no. I know, whilst the lights are down on Jimmy's entrance. Like, yeah, uh, I know. Just, it's, it's, it's like I timed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you, I don't know if you were, uh, saw the start, uh, JBG, but you will be in the main event with Sean Bean and Foxamania taking on Only Hams. Um. Oh right, sorry. No, I I did miss that part. Unfortunately, I had to uh, I had to take a leak uh, during that time. So well, there you go. That, that's <laughs> going to be you, massive. Me. And if the only hams win, then you will have to defend your world championship versus Fault Force on Thursday, the twenty first of October, in Hamageddon. Wow. Well, I'll be looking forward to that. I mean, if I do win tonight, it, er, you know. Yorkshire tea's on me, everybody, so there we go. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> what a start from Volk. Just quite the unbelievable start from, uh, from Volk here. Immediate mm. horns to Jimmy and then taking out Jabble in the corner. Oh, man. Absolutely dominant. Oh, but Jack Bull with a cheap shot. <laughs> yeah, Volk's been on an absolute tear lately, hasn't he? Really yeah, nice. his, his Wem Dope run is uh, incredible. Simply incredible. I'm, I'm loving it as well. Probably one of the strongest, I think. I think you're uh, you're right there, Rick. It's been on a. I don't know. It's just weird, isn't it? It's it's the power of chaos. I think. M must be absolutely must be. We we'd had uh, champion after champion lose it after a week of uh, having won it, and then uh, and then yeah, Vault comes along and he's now held it for months. And absolutely amazing. <sighs> Dare I say it? He is the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> I be. <laughs> Yeah, the, the others might have been sort of unwary to hold this title. Oh, here we go. So Jimmy and uh, Jabble have finally realized they're having to double team vault. <laughs> the unholy alliance doesn't last for long, however. <laughs> Jim, always happy to stab a friend in the back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's every man for himself. You can't rely on, on alliances. I still remember that day when when Jim let his guard down in the hospital when, when Wanger assaulted him <laughs> and took his extra arms belt title, so, you know. Oh, hey, Wanger. They've managed to make up after that and they're, they're the tag team champs, but still, it is every man for himself. You've got to remember that. You've got to keep your head on a swivel in a vicious cockfight. <laughs> yeah. words. All right, Jim taking a jabble to the apron. Volk was, uh, was tossed off for a moment, but he returns to the 4A. Nasty little chop to Jim. Yeah, yeah the, the limiters aren't off yet for Jim, are they? We all know when it comes. <laughs> oh, eats ring post to the Volk for Gore, and uh, chaos or no chaos, that's going to hurt. Yeah, right on the funny bone. Oh, man. 
Tough 15 stuff. inches of pure steel. <laughs> oh, oh now Jabal's turn. Goodness <laughs> me. Not, not going easy on each other, are these three? The structural kendo sticks <laughs> of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of dancing here, in and out. <laughs> Doing the hokey cork. <laughs> it paid off, though. Paid off for Jim. Took him out both. Yeah, he's done done really nicely here, Jim. If he can find a Jim bottom, he might even pick up a win. Oh, he's going for a pin now. This fuck got foul pins. I think he's just a basic for go. I don't think he's a pesta go or a or a corn corn go. I think he's just a <laughs> basic go. <goal. laughs> Word. Jabble and Volk stomping Jim down in the corner. Jim going to be down for a little while. I think the half crab could end it. <gasps> the deadly half crab. <laughs> Most devastating submission in the JFW. <laughs> oh, somehow, surely only the blessings oh, no. of chaos saving Volk. Oh, Jim, oh, what have you no. done? Oh. What have you done? <laughs> oh, no. Classic Jim move there. Classic Jim move. How was oh. that the bear hug, though? Oh, my word. The strength of Jim. Oh. oh. Look at that, what a badass. Oh, the fantastic that's, splash! Yeah, this could be it. That's great stuff from Jim. <laughs> and he, he win? Oh, oh, oh wow. no, it's, it's elimination! It's elimination. Volk's gone. Volk is right. Interesting. Absolutely amazing from Jim, though, to oh. eliminate... Uh, Jim Bottom! Volk and the Jim Bottom! Oh. Jim's got it! <laughs> Looks like Chaos took a night off by the looks of it. <laughs> oh! Oh! Wow. How was he kicked out? Absolutely amazing. Jack will not happy to lie down and say that Jim is the best caster of all time. <laughs> <laughs> make Absolutely Jim not, up. brother. <laughs> <laughs> and we're fighting back now with the uppercut and a lovely slam. No, Jim finds the way over the back. Oh, wow. All the way. wow. Shades of JBL there. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Finally, the fatigue, though, showing on Jim. He has been, uh, he, you know, Jackal had a rest, didn't he, while Jim was taking out Volk. Jim's been going hard now for five or ten minutes. That's true. That's about five more minutes than he normally manages. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderous knee. Nice, but he, he has to take a moment to rest again. I'm not sure a knee is going to be enough to end it. Close, though. But no cigar. Mm. I wish we in the corner. What's going to happen here? Sizing him up. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Good old snake eyes there. Oh! Atomic drop as well. Goodness me. Devil's in such a bad way. He needs to find something and he does. Powers through the leg of Jim. And then decides to celebrate. He does love to celebrate, <laughs> does Devil. <laughs> oh! Perfect time. Time to perfection. And uh, yeah, if he wants to catch Jim up on the attrition, taking it to the outside is the way to do it. More celebration from Devil. A little premature. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like if you were celebrating on turn 22 of uh, overtime when you think your favourite streamers won a match. <laughs> hey. uh, I, I don't think that would happen to be fair, Jim. Let's, let's be realistic. <laughs> fair enough. Oh, look at that. What, oh. a, what a move. Great strength again from Jim. That could be it this time. One, two, three. He's got hey. it. Beautiful wow. game. Best, best European uppercut. Glory, that's unbelievable. Yeah, the best the best European uppercut in wrestling. That's yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> Two huge wins there, uh, back to back for Jimmy, isn't it? These multi-man matches. Uh, won that yeah. four-way, won this three-way, incredible. Both with the European uppercut as well, which is uh, quite interesting. Yeah, yeah that is an unusual one, but I think the, the cumulative damage to Jack Bull had been massive. Um, he'd already done the Jim Bottom, hadn't he? And uh, yeah, I, I wasn't too surprised. Yeah. To, to see it finish him actually on this occasion. Um, it is of course the uh, the British uppercut since uh, since Brexit. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. uh, the Brexit.
Brexit up again. <laughs> <laughs> the Brexit up again. Uh, Very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah, but yeah, Jim, Jim on a roll with the uh, with the singles action again. Maybe eyeing up a little bit more gold than just the tag title. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, what a fantastic finish, dare I say. Yes. I do like to see Jimmy win sometimes. <laughs> 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 All right, well, oh my God, following that up, we've got two fan f absolute fan favourites here. We've got Dimmy G taking on Lemon Is Good. Oh, yeah, be it? interested to see uh, who the vans, fans cheer for in this one. Yeah. Dimmy dressed for business versus hardly dressed. Yeah. <laughs> Dimmy, of course, famous for caging his bananas. <laughs> so, so I wonder if Lemon wants to, like, liberate the fruit. <laughs> That's what this is about. <laughs> no, we, don't, we don't want no caged, uh, caged lemons in the JFW. Absolutely. Make me sad otherwise. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great timing, Muppet. Here he is. Yeah. The fans truly getting behind Dimmy. Is that still going? S oh! Oh! oh, oh my God. What's going on? It's throwing <laughs> the cabbage. <laughs> It's got a structural <laughs> candle <laughs> stick! Well, going too slow though, Dimmy successfully making it. <laughs> <laughs> yep! <laughs> wow, well. <laughs> it's <good enough. laughs> oh my like, you stupid cabbage, what do you even think you're doing? <laughs> it, is, it is a oh. vegetable. So we have lemon defending the bananas. Now we've got the cabbage defending the lemon. Well, tr trying to, trying not, to. not really, not really achieving very much. Oh man! Wow. Could could we see a, a some sort of league league of fruit and veg? I don't know. It just seems very. Uh, very, Maybe, very yeah. weird at the moment. <laughs> it's something, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh wow. Oh. He's... Thorak's not had his one a day, has he? So that, maybe that's why it took him a while to get to the ring. <laughs> yeah, maybe he right. hadn't been watered or something. <laughs> 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 The ref desperately trying to call this off, but uh, without too much success. Finally, there we go. Oh. Throw it. Nasty deeds to the back. Does take out Dimmy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst run out I've ever seen. <laughs> that, was, that was completely absurd, wasn't it? Hey, well, at least the attempt was made. That's the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the follow there. And yeah, now we've got Boy Howdy. We had we had Night Demon Pepper Biscuit try their hand at, at uh, as a tag team, like obviously part of the faction Six Feet Down Under. They teamed up as a tag team, beat Cock and Ball Torture a couple of weeks back, and now they're taking on the Scousers, who are the forf at the forefront of the tag team challenges. So this is going to be a, well, a massive match, I think. Hello, Night It team. is indeed. And uh, only Hamza, of course, failing to earn themselves a title shot um, in in Saudi Arabia on Thursday coming. So uh, yeah, it is uh, that that tag team title shot uh, place is open for uh, for any team that can claim it. Yeah, I'm surprised they're here tonight. To be honest, I thought they'd be stuck in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> as as uh, I was our boys were uh, we were on the Supreme Jet flight back home. There. <laughs> uh, both uh, both factions have been quite dominant, have they? As of late, they have. Yeah, they, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, six feet down under are always dominant to an extent, but actually, if if anything for them, they're on a little bit of a downer, right? Lost a bit of gold recently, so uh, yeah, maybe they've got. But they did win. You are right. They did win their last match out, and uh, making waves in the tag team division now. So and yeah, this is this is war. anybody's shout. Yeah. It was a war against CBT, wasn't it? Hell of a match, man. 
was. It really was. Yeah, one of the best incredible. matches. One of the best matches in Monday Night Claw history, probably. Yeah. Completely agree. Yeah, good to see you tonight, David. Yes. Marty in the chat. Break it up, break it up. <laughs> Wait, that Hancock? No, they all sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, imagine if you could have a, a promo with three wrestlers and they were all just going, hey, 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 calm hey. Down. It's like it's like a it's like a subliminal language, isn't it? It's like the undercommon of languages. I never knew Scouse was a thing though, like I didn't know Scouse was a food. I literally didn't know until like this week. Isn't that crazy? I, no, no word of a lie. I listened to a podcast with Tony Bellew and Jamie Carragher earlier. It's on BBC at the moment. But uh, yeah, it, it really, really needs subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Hancock isn't with them now because he'll be out on Plim Plum Plus away at action later. Oh, is, yeah. is he actually defending his title tonight, then? He's not defending his title, He's but he, he is going to be in. Oh, he couldn't he's... weasel his way out of action yeah. this time. <laughs> yeah, he weaseled it, uh, weaseled it out, didn't he, on Monday? Good, good chance he'll uh, defend on Thursday. So, so that's to look forward to. But yeah, you, you are right, Johnny B. They, these two have been uh, incredible lately. They, they won all the streamer championships, didn't they, between the three of them? And then uh, the Plim Plum Pluserweight title's been gobbled up as well. And now these two going for the tag championship. So, uh, yeah, really, really incredible run from the Scousers. Yeah, for sure. And I guess the thing is, if, if Hancock tried to do the same thing again, uh, well, they'd probably be Gengar waiting for him, wouldn't they? <laughs> if they tried to get three on two. So. <laughs> it's probably a reason to keep this. It's in their own best interest to keep this two on two, I guess. Gengar actually proven able to attack people on the ramp as well, unlike Throak. <laughs> yes. Yeah, devastating assault with that sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice start from Night Demon. Though. Ridiculously tall order, isn't it, facing Night Demon and Pepper Biscuit? It really is, yeah. Two, two singles legends here. Yeah, Absolutely. Night, legends. Uh, Night Demon is a scary boy, I must admit. Must admit. It really is. Yeah, I mean we've had our bouts in the past, but he is on a he's on a whole new level without a doubt. And the the last big win that these two had in tag team action was was for no small reason down to having Hancock in the corner. So I, I think they might really miss him tonight. He got really involved. In fact, eventually he got ejected from that man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was incredible. Yeah, he let his emotions run wild there, didn't he? He got, I think he got too involved. Maybe that's why obviously he got ejected from the ring. Quite possibly, quite possibly. Okay, Steve Martin managing to uh, fight back a little bit here, though. Pepper Biscuit on the back foot for a moment. <laughs> Hello, Flicky. If you mean your promo, yes, and so did, ha so did everybody miss half of it because I tried to mute the desktop thinking that I wouldn't mute the, the thing, and it did, so I was very sad. Yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was all a disaster. <laughs> Maybe we could have it again uh, at the end. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 That'd be great. That is a that is a great idea. Yeah. Play it again at the end. Awesome. Organomic fighting off Pepper Biscuit and a massive clothesline squashing Pepper Biscuit into the corner. Yeah, they are just about managing to hold their own. But look at the power of Pepper Biscuit. Whoa. And uh, Fugger's no pushover. You can't put a healthy biscuit down, that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I've never put a biscuit down in my life. No, only, only those people in the basement that we don't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm still surprised he's still standing with his, uh, his big match a few weeks ago with uh, Goliath Games. What an incredible... Oh. That was devastating, wasn't it? I, I can't wait to see Goliath Games get his day in the sun at uh, one of the title belts. He's been on the most ridiculous tear through the biggest men in JFW history. It really has been. Oh, wow. Oh, my oh, word. Agility. <laughs> Outrageous agility from a man the size of Fugger. Beautifully done. Clearly been watching Mr. Motivator, not just for fashion. <laughs> <Yeah>. Incredible. <laughs> Um, the fans not behind the Scousers here. I thought they uh, they might get a little support. Maybe we're in Manchester tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> Maybe they'd stolen someone's car again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, beautiful counter from Fugger as well. He will uh, not let Six Feet Down under dominate and devastate his suplex. Beautifully done. Yeah, he's, been, he's really yeah. held his own, hasn't he, Fugger, he's here got, against Nighting? Yeah, he's got an answer for everything. Well, oh. well <laughs> his answer for that might be hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll shut up. <laughs> it, it is the commentator's curse we all suffer from. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. The second you say how well somebody's doing, they, they take a massive <laughs> counter. Oh, but no, he is back in control. He could do with the tag, though. He's been in there a long time now. And I think he's going to try, but he's struggling to get to Steve Motti. There he we go. Just it. about. Night Demon not even trying for the tag. Yeah, probably should have taken the opportunity. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh he's going to have a figure of four right in the corner with Fugonomic there. Mm. Pepper Biscuit not even trying to help him out, but he is powering through. Reverses the pressure. Yeah, the, the undead are uh, defiant, aren't they, in their, uh, in their own ways? They are. Steve into the corner, we could see a tag. Oh, Pepper Biscuit. Dodging out the way of a possible tag. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, why tag when you're in zombie? <laughs> that's why. That'd be why. He knows. Oh! oh Flips out of it. Wow. Flips out of it. Oh, oh and into a massive spine buster. Boy, howdy. He's got to be in a ton of trouble now. Somehow kicks away Steve Motti. Got to go for the tag. This is maybe where the inexperience comes in the tag team format by six feet down under. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, as singles competitors, these two are almost unmatched, aren't they? Still doesn't tag, even though he was in the corner. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's hardly too finer in the history of JFW. This is relatively new. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh! Wow! Anything you can do, I can do better. Finisher of Steve Motti reverse by Night Demon this time. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> oh, camel clutch? We don't see this very often from Night Demon. No, very rare. Look at not making the save. Confident Steve Motti can power through, and he does. Trying to peel the face off there. Peel the face up. Oh, yeah, there's nothing they won't uh, sink to, is there? Six feet down under. Oh, ankle lock! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone from six feet down under ever tap. I'm not sure it's possible for them. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's a good point. Yeah, rather uh, rather tough, the old zombies. Oh, my God, biting his head. Yeah, a little bit worried. Blood, that, uh, blood's in the water. No, blood's in the water. Yeah, Steve Mike's been bitten twice now by Night Demon. Slightly worried he might turn into a zombie tonight himself. <laughs> right. We'll probably wash it down with a Carl's bag afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper Biscuit offering the tag. Night Demon not interested. Yeah. Though, is he? This could finally be it. There we go. Oh my word. Oh god. Oh, Steve Mike. <laughs> He's in the corner though. He is. He's gonna no! How did he not manage? Side Russell and leg sweep though, he's got a chance, he's right there, make the tag, Steve. Come on, baby. Yes, beautiful from the Scousers. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Oh, what a jump! <laughs> oh <laughs> Big boy is back in the ring again. Yeah, that's he's having a great match, isn't he? Fucking on He really is, yeah. Be a little too early to, to submit Pepper Biscuit, but uh, won't be too far away anymore. Yeah, good point from chat there. Yep, Scouse is having the natural, the natural counter to zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Pepper Biscuit just shrugging off the offensive fugger, and uh, that's that's no small thing to do. And then a massive spear into the corner and a sidewalk slam, one-handed. Oh, backbreaker! Sorry, goodness me. Double backbreaker! <laughs> oh! Wow. Damn. Monstrous. Look, we're already looking for the tag, but a lovely roll to the outside, actually, and he catches Pepper Biscuit out! Oh! Unagi! 
Is this it? Still no uh, interception attempt <laughs> by now. Night Demon. Wow. Oh, goodness me. That would have put out a lot Very of people well. in the JFW, and it's a one count. Uh, that is outrageous, but it just means there's more work to be done. And admittedly, the Scousers don't like to do work, but uh, <laughs> but they can when they have to. Well, he, he doesn't mind this sort they'll of work. Just, it's the Honeymoon Special. <laughs> they'll just overcharge. Yeah, in the, in the wrong corner, though. He's, he's tapped! He's got him! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, the Scousers' search for gold continues! <laughs> oh, my God! Um, well, yeah, I think uh, the, the glorious ones need to be aware of these two. My God. They are truly on the road to El Dorado. Absolutely <laughs> incredible from the Scouts. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Fogo was just a machine, wasn't he? The whole match just <laughs> absolutely unbelievable. He really was, yeah, he was incredible. <laughs> what a performance. Powered, right powered by Carlsberg. <laughs> yeah, it turns out zombies do tap, yeah. Holy, <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> Steve, Steve Moore to you. Wow. That is unbelievable. Yeah, what a definitely performance. a strong force out there in the... Uh, the tag team division at the yeah, moment. Yeah, they look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> hey, appearances can be deceiving, Jimmy. Yeah. Um, no physics. No, you're still around. You're in. You're in a match the other day. In fact, the other the other week, maybe. <laughs> but no, not not retired yet. There is there is now an unofficial retirement account where I can move people over, so you know to get fresh blood in. So some people will be semi-retired. Um, but they can always be brought back. But yeah, I, I realised you can have two accounts, so I can have more, more wrestlers. So like, there's some people that haven't been in for ages, like Finney, that can just get moved through their account and then maybe brought back in the future. But no, physics is physics is still a bit of a player in the. In, in the yeah, we had division. a match. We had a match a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now we have Ardvac taking on Skuramexo, both with big wins last week. Building. Some momentum. That's S H I T. Skirmets a high intensity tournament. <laughs> you still suck. Uh, you never suck, do you? You're still, you're still very top tier. Hey, oh, he nearly pulled the win off. Yeah. Nearly pulled the win off. Incredible. The man who gravity forgot. <laughs> I, I really like physics. Shades of uh, the genius. Come on, brother. <laughs> yeah. He's got it all, hasn't he? He's got the size. He's got the uh, agility. He's, of course, like he's got the brains. Can... Yeah, he's yeah. definitely got the brains. <laughs> the smartest man who ever lived, wasn't he? Is it like John Deacon? Yeah, yeah, because... <laughs> <laughs> if you Google, if you Google John Deacon and Sir Isaac Newton... <laughs> Right, <laughs> they're basically <laughs> they're basically the same person, except there's no photos of Newton, so I just used a photo of John Deacon for his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, physics physics could have been a six feet down under person. Yeah. <laughs> Might not look so good then. No. <laughs> Boy, there goes the budget. Yep. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 300 pounds. So if you don't set the uh, set the stage on light like he did a few weeks ago, that's why I was watching from the side. <laughs> well, he's come fresh from Daddy Dating Simulator. <laughs> 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 where he gave Jimmy Fantastic a couple of kisses on a lovely, <laughs> lovely date. <laughs> it's custom, Ham, it's custom. Uh, Triple H's music. <laughs> a 
Skurro Dating Simulator, you say? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Goldberg motion, the bits of it are Goldberg, but then it's also some other people's. He, he did it all custom himself. But yeah, mostly, mostly Goldberg. Yeah. Right to have Skurro back in the ring. We didn't see him for the longest time. He is one of the most overpowered wrestlers in the JFW, of course. Yep. <laughs> Boy, howdy. That pyro. That pyro. <laughs> He's never won a championship, though, unfortunately. I would he, like to see him yeah, have he, some gold on him. He hasn't. He has. He did win the first ever... He did win the first ever uh, rumble in JFW history. Um, in the shit rumble. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> but can he, can he defeat Ardvac and the Disarmor, the most overpowered move in, in wrestling, probably? Wow. He's already softening up that arm. Yeah, he's going for it. And of course, he would tell you that he is the SFL season three and five champion. <laughs> would Skuro mention that? <laughs> well, I, I've got, I heard of somebody. It might not have been Skuro. <laughs> Probably only ten times an hour. <laughs> did Wait, you also know? Did you also know that Rick's been in New Orleans? <laughs> Rick, Artemis Rick? has been. Artemis has been in New Orleans. I knew. I knew what I meant. I didn't say the wrong thing. <laughs> Oh god. So I, I'm really sorry, who's who's Skrull against here? Ardvark. Ardvark, yeah. yeah. Ardvark. He how's, misspelled uh, Ardvark been recently. He misspelled Ardvark when Ardvark when he made his account. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And, and since then he's the been best Ardvark. Names, uh, are all great. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's the same with Pendo as well. Pendo was Pembo. Because he's like, really? his, yeah, his surname is oh, Pemberton, awesome. and he was, and he was like, someone called him Pendo instead of Pembo, and then that just became his online thing. I tell you what, we haven't seen Lemon tonight, but we're seeing our fair share of Lemon drops. First Fogonomic and now Skuro. <laughs> yeah, brilliant stuff. Uh, so yeah, Ardvac, Ardvac, Ardvac was the first Money in the Ass winner. Um, right. And then he was robbed of his Money in the Ass uh, Two -tap, chance. Didn't he? Yeah, well, Two Tap, Money in the Ass no, no, no. He was he was robbed by uh, the dastardly wanger. Uh, well, Mister Mister Jim's McMahon basically screwed over Advac. Um, wow. And Jimmy Fantastic to just make it all like you just really went all in on wanger pushing wanger to the moon. Um, wow. And then he did recover and did win the extra arms belt after that. Oh, hey, happen. wanger. But, um, yeah, that's that's, that's 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 what he's done. <laughs> he has history at the top, but we we haven't seen him for a while. So both of these kind of trying to make a comeback, but a package pile driver. <laughs> yeah. Brutal. Yeah, both trying to get a bit of momentum uh, on the Friday night stand for them. It's a good job they're wearing padding. Oof. And sandals. <laughs> <laughs> He's racing sandals. He's an eye racer. Professional <laughs> eye racer yeah. in his spare time. That doesn't make any oh, sense, no. but there you go. <laughs> That's hardcore if you can drive in, the, in your sandals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. They I've, are I've, his I've done it once. <laughs> I've done it once, and I'll never do it again. That's all. I'm gonna say. They are his eye racing sandals. <laughs> He's very good. He's very good. Um, yeah, I, mean, I, I caught my foot in the, uh, caught my sandal in the uh, the clutch one time, and that was pretty bad. So, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nearly, nearly had an accident, but we. Uh, Thankfully, no clutch in uh, in in eye racing necessarily is there. Some people choose to have one, but you don't have to. Have one. Uh, so he's also he's an automatic then. He likes his automatic. No, no, you you have like uh, the gears on the on the wheel, right? Like a, like an F. Ah, uh, right. Okay, let's see. But um, two count already. Yeah. In the in the old racing games back in the day, you you couldn't go automatic. Like the games were deliberately designed that it was harder to go manual. But if you did, you were massively rewarded. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the Dissara. Because this is it. could be it. It could be. It is. Yeah, he's got it. Wow. Wow, all the submissions tonight. Wow. Guru had taken a lot of damage there. Really impressive from our back. He's yeah. back. That was absolutely dominant, wasn't it? That yeah, Skuro just didn't have his head in the game, did he? Yeah. Like I was still on the long, the long ass intro of Ardvac. 
<laughs> Maybe got a bit distracted, but you know, the point was he plays iRacing racing was was the intro. I so is what I could have been. <laughs> but no, he was he was the first one in the ass winner, so you know he had that going for him. So yeah, I think it was fair enough to give him that intro, but that took the entirety of the fight, didn't it? What an absolutely dominant performance. Fair enough. Well, now we know all about him, and we know that he's back as well. So we look forward to seeing more of him. Yeah. Wonder if Skrull will try and take revenge backstage. Where I mean, that's his element, isn't it? That's probably why he's never been champion. To be fair, Skrull is, is is you know his yeah. his domain is the backstage area where he takes photographs we, of the wrestlers when we don't going. have a hardcore <laughs> championship equivalent, do we? In the JFW? we so. don't. No, no. Maybe that should be made. Maybe. Yeah. Have a backstage, like, I don't know, backstage title or something like that. Yeah, you know what, the JFW needs more titles than nobody ever. Well, yes, <laughs> certainly, certainly Skuro, one of the uh, biggest advocates for less titles in the uh, in the JFW, so it would be very ironic if we, if we made an extra title just for him. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, I mean, oh, oh. we can't forget the, the Golden Fogar and Skuro match was absolutely <laughs> banger. The greatest backstage match of all time. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we've got some hot plimp on blues weight action. We've got a humorous chimp. The guy who the scousers stole his car and his grandmother's insulin. Oh. <laughs> Ghoul face wow. killer. And it took Hancock. us two weeks to get that car back. Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, ch chance for revenge here. Yeah, this might be a vicious one then. Yeah. Yeah, Hancock. The Hancock is the champ. He won't be putting his title on the line, but it's still nice to see him in. Plim plum plus weight action every week, isn't it? I think that's, you know, that the the champs should be fighting every week. They don't have to put the uh, title on the line every week, though. Just... They're, they're always highlights of the show as well, aren't they? The plim plum plus weight matches never let us down. Absolute incredible style. Yeah, it is great. Great to see those little high flyers go at it. It's good to see JFK as well. GFK, yes. Yeah. JFK, JFK probably in six feet down under if he was to make an appearance. Oh dear. Sorry, I've, I've had a few drinks tonight, so I'm a little bit. <laughs> Can we catch him? <laughs> oh dear, they'll probably be getting his head in the game, wouldn't it? <laughs> Too soon. So. Humorous Chimp comes down to a uh, common man of Dusty Rhodes working hard with his hands. What, what do we reckon his job is? He does wear a tie. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I don't know. It's just the American dream, though, isn't it? You know, he's come there with nothing from the jungle and then yeah. uh, <laughs> he's made a fortune he's wrestling. A, yeah, he's a, cast, he's a cast salesman. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Second hand car dealership. <laughs> Don't know, he's, he's, he definitely has to work. Off more than between him and Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got to work hard to support his family, hasn't he? Make sure his grandmother doesn't run out of insulin. Very important in the in the, uh, in, the in America where you've got to pay for everything. Yeah. GFK, the the, the one of the few. GFW characters who actually had to become more buff after seeing a real picture of him. <laughs> oh, wow. He actually is ripped and uh, yeah, cool face killer. Haven't seen him for a while, but he's one of the original Plim Pom Pluses, isn't he? Great uh, great entrance and look thanks to Shawnee. Yeah, he had some uh, big, big wins back in the day with GFK. Amazing high flyer as well as insane. Yeah, he's got it all, really. It's just yeah, he uh, does. He really does. Just, you know, just, yeah, just, well. Unfortunately, the mighty, the mighty have fallen. And, and, you know. He is, of course, reminiscent of Raiden, so you'd expect him to fly well. <laughs> <We're here. laughs> I don't think so. I don't know who Raiden is, but uh, you know, any, any, uh, it's more any combat. similar. <laughs> Any, I know who it is, man. Any similarity to any characters, alive or dead, is purely coincidental. <laughs> we did not steal anything from anybody. <laughs> Sorry to sandbag you there, Jim. <laughs> Hello, my poor back. 
Commiserations. Great match, though. Is, is the Poundland equivalent of Mortal Kombat? We'll go with that. That's, we'll get around the copyright. Don't around stop that. mentioning it! <laughs> <laughs> Rain Den, yeah, I I've never heard of this guy. Uh, I think you talked about. Oh, I think I remember he was in Big Trouble in Little China, wasn't he? Yeah. Anyway, that's who they copied him off, so really, I guess they haven't got a leg to stand on. <laughs> But here is the Plim Plum Plues Away champ, Hancock. Yep, bringing uh, diversity to the JFW. Yeah. <laughs> Scousers everywhere, looking up to him, thinking uh, this is what uh, what we can achieve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, I can't do it. The Yorkshire accent doesn't help it, so... <laughs> I got told this week that he does in fact sleep and shower in that tracksuit. <laughs> he showers? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, truly an inspiration for Scousers. <laughs> oh, cheeky uh, kick to the shin from uh, Humorous Ooh. Chimp. Nice, nice way to start, but he's paying for it now. Chimp making a beeline for Hancock. That, the memory of that insulin and cast theft is... <laughs> yeah, can't, can't blame him at all. A nasty miss, though, and now Ghoulface. Can I take control? No, Chimp takes him down. Beautiful. Oh, and there's the, the Hurricane Rana, the kind of wonderful move we've come to love in these Plim Pom Blues Away matches. Hancock not having to do any work if he doesn't have to, but he looked the wrong way and he paid for it. <laughs> wow. A swing and a miss as well, again, absolutely pummeled in the corner. There wow. we go, finally fights out. Oh, nice kick up. Wow. Incredible. Yeah, he is the champ for a reason. Yeah, no, no ring rust from GFK, is he? Nice. Not so far, no. Right on top of things. <laughs> well, he was. <laughs> <laughs> certainly, uh, certainly spirited effort. Oh, just about connecting with the elbow there from Hancock, but chips back and takes him down. This is elimination. That's why there's no attempt to break it up. Oh, all three of these capable of hurricane runners. We haven't seen one yet from Hancock, but he's uh, he's made a point of uh, taking down a few JFW superstars in recent weeks with them. Yep. Face gonna roll to the outside. We could get an elimination here. Hancock rolled up by Chimp. Look at Chimp go. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, reverse. Oh. Come on, Chimp. <laughs> Hey, Hancock, <laughs> loving it, baby. <laughs> this is the Plim Plum Blues' core night, so he's, he's not the tallest chap in the world. Oh, oh, oh wow, no. look at that. <laughs> Kicking the cock up the ass. <laughs> Boots to asses, baby. Boots to asses and off the top rope. Oh. Wow. Hancock in all sorts of trouble now. Superplex there, very good. Why is he staying out of it? Hoping Hancock gets eliminated, but uh, no, just a one count, even Ooh. after that. No, that oh, cool face killer should have gone in with more than a slap, missing an opportunity to blindside Chimp. Yeah, for sure. Oh, look at this load. Savage leg kicks. Oh, we nearly hit the ref there. We ought to be careful. <laughs> That's J5's job. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Brutal. The, uh, the chimpic slam. <laughs> <laughs> Connecting. Whoa, oh, baby. Beautiful Fonton. That could be all that she wrote for the ghoul face killer. A short return. A it is. Oh, wow. Wow. And now Chim seeking revenge. <laughs> yeah, oh, I guess Lord. the ring rust really caught up in the end. Yeah. Oh. Hancock sent packing oh, to the outside. <laughs> this has been pretty grave from Chimp, hasn't it? He's been pretty dominant against two guys. Really has, really has. Maybe wants a, a cheeky title shot somewhere down the line. <laughs> well, he, he had it stolen, didn't he? 
Wow, this is That's incredible. It. Yeah, really amazing from Chimp. He says, you take from me, I'm going to take from you. Hurricane runner onto the concrete. <laughs> Chimp is getting tired, though. Slight signs of fatigue for the first time. It is an incredible pace that these Plimp on Pluserweights go at. Yeah, I mean, this is more just, you know, like punching himself out, isn't it? He's, it's incredible so far. It's, it's probably going to get him the win, but also could be a little bit rope dope from Hancock. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful celebration. <laughs> and then With like that, I'd be showing off as well. <laughs> Hancock finally fighting back, finds the jawbreaker. Huge flying punch to take him down, but Chimp wisely rolling onto the apron. Well, is it smart to be on the side of the ring there? No. Oh. On this occasion, it pays off. <laughs> These devastating leg kicks, it's unbelievable. Honestly, it's like uh, watching a, a tactical UFC fight, isn't it? Just sometimes somebody comes out with these really badass leg kicks and dominates a fight that you didn't expect. It's what Chimp's done here. It really is, yeah. Oh, God, his back's gone. Though. Oh, no, oh. no, Chimp, you were doing so well. Oh, not like this. How do the Scousers get so lucky every flipping time? <laughs> uh, put, they put all their points into luck, don't they, and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, what they do is they just they just reroll the character until they roll a six for luck. <laughs> <laughs> I know Rick played the old fighting fantasy game. So I, <laughs> I did. Why why roll Ooh. at all? Just just write it in the book. <laughs> Kim with the bad back now, just about kick it out at two and a half. But Hancock knows he's in control. Come on, Jim. Put this scouser in his place. Oh, oh no. Oh, unbelievable hang time. <laughs> and the kill. Really incredible from Hancock. He, he's been a machine, hasn't he? You know, all jokes aside, because he does cheat sometimes and he pulls every trick in the book, but when, it, when he ha has to get done in the ring, he does it. He sure does, yeah. Unbelievable. All right, oh. Jim, now, does he back hold it? Does! The Egyptic slam, he's got it! Oh. Surely that's it! Oh. 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 Uh. Amazing. Oh, Kick out with a roll up. The no. poop flinger. The poop flinger. <laughs> that's it. That's his finisher. That's got to be it. That has got to be it. <laughs> oh, baby. Jim, even with a bad back. Wow. Congrats, Jim. Well done. Well deserved. Incredible. Wonder if we'll see this one-on-one uh, -on -one in the near future. <laughs> Congrats to the Scouses. <laughs> While you were in the ring with us, Gengar and G'day Nick broke into your locker room and only found hair gel, velour jackets, and a 55-gallon barrel of lube. <laughs> they stole the lube, figured it was the cleanest thing in the room, LUL. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Nighty, man. <laughs> 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 oh, man, the lube. Don't, don't, if, the, if you say loop three times out loud, it, it summons fault force. <laughs> you have to be standing in front of a mirror. <laughs> in front of a mirror. Well, this of Thursday is going to summon fault force, whether we like it or not, whether we say it's there or not, whether we're hungry for kebab or not. Yeah, massive, massive, massive pay per view. Not actually going to have to pay for it. On the 21st of October, special event they call them now, don't they? Special event on uh, Thursday, 21st, it is Hamageddon. Oh, baby. There's plenty special about those only hams, that's for sure. Oh, baby, and here Hopefully they are. Someone. Here they are, if oh, they right. can well, be. I best get ready then, haven't I? <laughs> you better, yep. See you, JBG. All right. <laughs> yep, cheers, uh, Johnny B. Yep. <laughs> yep. Great to have you in here. Thank you. And yeah, Cheers, we've, thank you. <laughs> we've got the y, the YPA, the Yorkshire Protection Agency, JBG, Foxamania, and Sean freaking Bean taking on, oh God, <laughs> Fault Force. 
Shawnee and Chugman Milk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. T Team Yorkshire are pretty incredible, aren't they? Like, I, I think I probably underestimated them when I first saw them in the JFW, and then they just got it done time and time again. Of course, Johnny B. Good going on to even greater things with the world title. Sean Bean, what, what a teammate. When you know that somebody will literally put their life on the line and die for you <laughs> match after match after match, you know, what, what more can you ask for from a teammate? That's true, yeah. Sean Bean, another great candidate for, for six feet down under. <laughs> 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 he, he doesn't he doesn't stay dead for long enough that's the problem yeah that's true yeah yeah he's he's got some kind of power even even more uh, mystical than six feet down under <laughs> shades of uh, kenny from south park with sean bean i feel <laughs> yeah basically yeah <laughs> and then oh what can you say about only hands that hasn't well Nothing that hasn't been said. Uh, look at them. I, I, I try not to, Jim. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably, probably best to never really think about them, talk about them. Just hope they'll go away eventually. <laughs> <laughs> well, sadly, not till after Thursday. Hopefully, that will be it for a while. No, uh, they, they, they generally have done really well, but they, they struggled on Monday, didn't they, Jim? All picking up a lot. They did, yeah, yeah. So now they're all coming back as a unit, taking Something on the YP. <laughs> yeah, may maybe they're, they're stronger as a whole. <laughs> yeah. Fractured butthole. <laughs> what we talk about Lude and uh, Fractured Butthole reminded me of the last panel of his Super Duty. A reminder that the world can be better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I like to look at it as uh, it reminds me to be grateful that the world isn't worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the irony that, that you feel that way, Ham, like I completely agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I'm loving the irony. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Tid. Rude boy and big hand. Amazing. <laughs> JDG leading him out. Well, yeah, you, you can't argue with that. He is the champ at the moment. He is one of, if not the most informed JFW superstar that we have on the entire roster. Be interesting to see who he's up against on Thursday. Do we have the card for Thursday yet, Jim? We're waiting for that to come out. We don't, yeah. We're waiting for that to come out. Hopefully, um, it'll be sorted on Saturday um, at some point. But it, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it's, compli it's complicated, so... We'll see. Yeah. Hopefully soon. Should be by Monday at least. Whenever, whenever Theresa May and uh, Vince McMahon can sit down together and hash it out. Yeah, they've got to hash out a deal. Not Theresa May's strong point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's Theresa May, there's Mr. Jim McMahon, and of course there is Fault Force himself, who is providing the funding for Ham again. His kebab fund, having to dip into his kebab fund, uh, but wow. the coffers are deep. So. <laughs> Yeah, well, the the coffers are deep, and you know that he'll go to the cheapest place possible to buy the kebabs as well. So, exactly. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, you might think a kebab fund. Well, that's not going to be a lot, right? Kebabs are only about a fiver, but this is fault force. Uh, this is, you know, <laughs> one kebab will not cut it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word, the disdain. Tossing off Johnny Be Good, and that's the last thing Johnny Be Good wanted at the start of this match, being tossed off by Paul Paul. <laughs> Yeah, you could say it's the last thing anybody wants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he finally gets a grip uh, with with the early foot force and a smart early tag as well. I like this. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant move. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep keep the opposition guessing. <laughs> Particularly bad opponent for Foxomania, though, isn't it? With all, all of this body hair versus all the grease of... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, he's going to have to have the longest shower of his life after this one. But, but now he needs to not think about it and get the job done. And 
and he's being double teamed by two of the only hands. Something else that I'd hoped would never ever happen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, chugs. Chugs Coke man milk. Living up to his name. <laughs> Usually yeah, Maiden... backstage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's uh let's hope he keeps it that way. Foxomania <laughs> managing to fight back, a lovely snap suplex. Oh, and uh wow. A little, little bit of revenge wrapping uh Chug's head between his legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh good. This match though. Oh, JBG back in. The good boy. Yeah. Really nice tag and JBG on fire straight away. Um, it's going to take a while for Foxabadi to recover, but he has Sean Bean in his corner if he needs somebody. But right now, he is very, very comfortably demolishing Chugman Milk. Yeah, it really is. There's a quick tag. I think it caught Chug out by surprise. Really nicely done. Last ditch effort from Foxamania. Yep, great stuff. Nightmare takedown drags him immediately back to his feet. Oh, point back finally from Doug. Oh, <laughs> right huge! Huge right hand. Drags him into the corner, almost dead. And here comes Shawnee for the first time. Here we go. The chess expert, <laughs> Shawnee. Funny enough, it's Johnny B. Good versus Shawnee B. Good. <laughs> now, no, Shawnee, Shawnee, no. 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 <laughs> back by Johnny B. Good gets it back in control, but Shawnee's fresh and he pops straight back up. Oh, only to eat a huge right hand of his own from Johnny B. Good. Oh, going for the knee as well, great. Trying to limit that uh, figure four leg lock that Shawnee uses so effectively. Yeah, won't be able to, uh, to slap quite as much power in. Yeah, still targeting it. Yeah, this is genius from Johnny B. Good. This is maybe why he's one of the most informed JFW superstars we've ever had. Oh. Johnny finally ducking the clothesline. Whips Johnny B. Good. Oh, but Johnny gets shruggy off the elbow. <laughs> wow. No one able to get the upper hand here. Johnny B. Good finally famous, sir. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a counter. Where did that come from? Showing yeah. just desperation, I guess. He is really trying to tag, but Johnny B. Good not letting him round to his teammates, and he eats a neck breaker. He's trying to tag again, and this time, yes. He's in. Full the, four. the big boy is in the big ham. <laughs> oh, Johnny B. Good again, bouncing right back up. <laughs> another and another famous. famous sir. <laughs> wow. Four fours might Johnny be Johnny B. Good one in the tag this time. Yeah. It's short bean time. No. Oh God, it yes. It is. It is. <laughs> Woo! Could be in trouble, but no shoulder takedown. Bean, bean, immediately, bean. possibly getting killed. It's Ham versus Bean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my word! Casual. The power of Fort Force at times is something to behold. Yep, it was incredible there, didn't it? Oh, slams Bean's head into the mat with all of his weight behind it. Oh god. It's the, oh my goodness. It's the choke ham. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Being relatively fresh in the ring, but already taking a ton of damage yeah. in the last few seconds. Oh, but a massive miss from Full Force. And a nice knee to the back from Sean Bean. He's fighting back now. Into his friendly corner, and back in comes Foxamania. Oh, oh. oh god, Full Force though. It's unbelievable what Full Force can shrug off. Just yeah, completely it? turned matches on its head, yeah. yeah. And look at the strength to suplex. Foxamania right in the middle of the ring. Oh, oh no. Hamstorm <laughs> pile driver. <laughs> Cool. You better get some help. Are you, is not going to be able to kick out of this by himself? Oh, no one's going to help him. It could be him. Oh. Somehow, Foxmania kicks out at two and a half. 
Keeps him in the corner. Smart move. Gets the tag off. Yeah. It's only hand really dominating at the moment. Quantumania. <laughs> Back into the friendly corner. Can he get a tag? Is he even going to go for a tag? I think after the hamstone pile driver, he should. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, oh he slips out. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, he just looks at it as a challenge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he going to send him into the audience? Oh, maybe. Twenty just collapsing in the end. Oh, fighting back somehow. He's taken so much punishment. Tosses off Shawnee. Can he get in and can he get the tag? He's not going to. He Poor really should. Can... Yep. Not at all impossible that we could see a count out win. Oh, he brings it back in. Gotta get that tag. Come on, Foxy. Oh my word. Double underhook Ooh. suplex, and it's beautiful, but he's got to tag. He's taken so much punishment. Now he wants to finish it himself. Oh boy, the fox lock is this? It is the fox lock. This could be it. Bolt Force and Chug not coming in to save Shawnee. He's got him. It so is. many snap outs, Jim. What is going on? <laughs> wow, this truly has been a night for giving up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A tribute, an accidental tribute to Tony Plays Proly tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was giving up sometimes. <laughs> wow. That was that was a weird match, wasn't it? Fall Force was really dominant. Yeah, they absolutely wrecked. Of all the Yorkshiremen that they wrecked, they wrecked Foxomania, <laughs> but he, he found just enough to fight back and then and then lock in the box lock, yeah. Mm. Crazy. Shawnee must surely have only just taken it off to, to tap there as well. He hadn't had all that much done to him, I don't think. Mm. The, the JFW has managed to keep <laughs> keep the hands out of the main events of <laughs> of Hamagen, but it's still you know they're still going to have to defend their titles. Probably we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll get a card as soon as possible for Thursday to see who uh, to see who will be taking part in Hamageddon. Um Should we run the promo now before we sign off or, or sign yep, off? Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Well, we'll do the promo now. Um, so, let's put that on now. Hello, JFW Universe. Flicky Flack here. I come to you with a message. A message about my world heavyweight title. I won that title fair and square against Dimmy. And then that fucking Thor with the money in the ass every fucking time. It's just not possible to enjoy this title. It was my title and he took it from me. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. I've got one friend in this universe. One friend. My wrestle and kick nation buddy. He is going to come down here and he is going to help me right these wrongs. He is going to help me fix these injustices. He will be coming and he is coming soon to the GFW. Flicky out. Boy, howdy, what a promo. Who is, who is this Wrestle and Kick Nation buddy? I can't wait to see that. That's going to be epic, isn't it? Flicky finally coming back to the JFW wow. after losing his title. That's going to be epic, an epic return. What, one of the all-time great promos there. Yeah, can't <laughs> wait to see Flicky back in action. He's not wrong, is he? He was completely robbed. He, he'd, he'd worked his way up the hard way. He earned his title shot and he got the win. And then it was just taken from him. Yeah. So uh, so he's, he's, he's absolutely spot on. 
<laughs> Woo! <laughs> Absolutely instantly, yeah. Hello, JVG. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> don't have to tangle Woo. with those again. And uh, yeah, the big news that Flicky has a friend. Yeah, we don't know who though. It'll be it'll be very <laughs> exciting to see who it is that comes out with him. Um, and yeah, that's it. So great developments there today. Thank you so much, Rick and JBG. Absolutely glorious having you both on. Thank you guys. My pleasure. pleasure. Yeah, thanks so much, Jim. Another amazing Friday night stand firm. Love these, baby. Woo! Glorious. Cream crackered. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>